you want to create AI art on your phone or even apply your own style to it, then check out Starry AI. It's a phone app that you can install on your Google, Android or Apple device and you can create art or even train your own styles. Now Starry AI are the sponsor of this video and today I'm going to show you very briefly how you can use it but then also show you how you can train up your own style to more further personalize your AI art on this platform. Now you can sign up on your computer and use this but I'm going to use my phone because this is what the app is designed for. You can see here I've got a few recent creations, bits and pieces and if I want to at its simplest format, if I want to start creating images, all I need to do is press the text area. I've got a whole bunch of options, but I can essentially start prompting. I can say, Samurai Frog, ready for battle. And if I want to, I can try a few other options and styles. But for now, I'm gonna stick with my four images. My canvas size, I'm gonna change that to portrait, four to five. You see, we've got a few options there. If I come back, we've got square, mobile portrait, landscape, few simple uh, aspect ratios, random seed. I'm just gonna hit create and see what results we get. My image is placed in the queue and I just have to wait for it to process. As you can see, we've got some images here, a few different styles, overall pretty cool. I really like this last image, so I can click the little cloud button underneath the image on the right and download that to my album. So that's now on my phone and the image size of that particular render is 512 by 640. So, so far it's not huge. However, if we go back to Starry AI, I come down and I have some options. I can create some variations if I want to. So variations of that image to uh, adapt a little bit. I can remix it. I can retouch certain areas. So I can go in and retouch some bits and pieces. But for now I'm gonna upscale it. And you can see I have a few options here for resolution. I'm going to pick 8x to make it 4096 by 5120 pixels and I'm going to hit upscale and then we simply wait for it to upscale but now coming back if I have this image here if I go to my image here and scroll down you'll see I can actually look at the information below so I've got my prompt here which I can check I've got upscales I can save the subscale so we can check it out and if we open it up, we can zoom in and see that the image is, is actually pretty high resolution. Now that's pretty good for straight up AI image generation. However, what we wanna do is add our own style and generate from that. So I'll show you how you can do that now using Starry AI. Now, if you open your app and come down and tap styles, you can actually explore a lot of pre-made styles that come with the app. You'll notice that it says public and then there's my styles. If I click on my styles, I can create my own style. So if I click that little plus button there, I can upload five images. So again, I click this button. I've got my transformers images that I can use. So I'm gonna basically hit some of these images. So I have about eight images here that I can use and I can add more, but for now, let's actually run with that and see what kind of style we get. I hit continue and enter a style name. I'm gonna call this bots versus cons because that was the name of the website that I actually put these images onto. And I can pick category. I go with characters in this instance, I think. There's more there, but characters is probably the best. And I hit start training. It's going to upload these images and we can come back to it when it's complete. So after about an hour or so, my style has appeared and I've gone into it and there's no thumbnail because I haven't created any images yet. But if I go to new creation from style, I can start to use my new style. I'm going to give it a basic prompt for transforming robot, cinematic lighting, and a few other bits and pieces. And then I'll scroll down and hit create. And now we have a few images and they do tend to match the style. It's not 100% perfect, but overall, it does look very transformery and very much like some of the figures I had in the photos. So you can see it's a great tool for actually taking images or even artwork of your own, training it up and creating more based on that style. So that's a pretty powerful feature, I think, for a phone app. But there are a few little sort of like weird lasers in the middle here that I'd like to remove. So I'm gonna look into that. Now underneath, there's an option there called retouch. I'm gonna click on that I can adjust my brush size as before, and I simply paint over the area on the image that I want to change. And when I'm finished, I go up the top right and click done. I write a prompt for what I want to actually go into that space I painted over. If you want to, you can change some advanced options, but I'm just gonna hit create and see what we get. And so this is the final 
you can see we've managed to remove these issues from the corner here. And I've also max upscaled this to a good 15,000 pixels. So it's a pretty gigantic image. Um, zoom in and see that the, the detail is pretty decent. Uh, overall, definitely a pretty decent platform. Uh, and that's been trained off my own images. So I think that's a really cool feature. So uh, I really highly recommend if you want to play around a little bit with AI art, try using Starry AI. It has such a user friendly interface. Uh, it is free to try. There's a link in the description. You just have to, or you can just simply look for it in your app store. Just look for Starry AI. And it's a very powerful uh, platform and uh, seems to be getting better and better all the time because I did try this a while ago and it's, uh, was, it has improved greatly in the past few months. So I want to thank Starry AI for sponsoring this video. So check that out. There's a whole lot more that I haven't covered here. Otherwise, the video would go on forever. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial showing you how to get started. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.